For the longest time, I've been wanting to paint a mural, but people don't seem to want to trust me with their walls, which I guess it's understandable. Until now. So I finally painted my first mural. Sort of. I had asked my friend Eric if he knew about any walls I could paint, since he's a really social butterfly and I knew if anyone could point me in the right direction, it would be him. But a couple of months passed by and nothing happened, so I thought I would just not get to do any murals in the near future. But then I got a text from him with an idea. What if instead of painting a mural, I painted a sign for his taco restaurant, Diego's Tacos, which was undergoing some renovations actually. And so my mural painting journey began. I will refer to the wood board sign I painted as a mural because it's more fun like that, but yeah, it's, it's a sign, not a wall. I was really excited someone was giving me an opportunity to paint something big and it was none other than a friend. I wanted to capture the history behind the restaurant with a symbolic and simple painting and we decided to keep it almost monochromatic with only using blue and cyan colors. The first thing I did was take the briefing Eric sent me and used it to create a digital mock-up of the piece. Since the mural was going to be a triangular shape, I had to take that into consideration as well. Here's the digital version. At first, I had planned on using reds and blues, but as you'll see, we ended up going for blues and cyans at my friend's request. And you know what they say, the client is always right, especially if it's your friend that's giving you the opportunity to paint your first mural. The next step was to get the materials and get the wood we were going to use for the painting. Since the sign was pretty long, they had to cut it in half so it would be easily transported. I used only four colors for this painting, blue, cyan, white, and black, and mixed them to get different values and shades. Now, I was there standing in front of two planks of triangular wood, ready to begin the battle. I thought I'd make things even scarier, and instead of painting directly into the wood with color, I would first create a sort of a first layer of all white. Y'all know how much artists love looking at a blank canvas, am I right? Then I decided white was way too scary and painted a pastel cyan on top of it to feel a little less overwhelmed and threatened by the white. Once that dried, I decided there was no turning back and it was time to lay down the sketch with pencil. The rest of the process was really intuitive. Even though I'm not used to painting on large surfaces, I think what helped me the most was feeling confident that if I screwed anything up, I could always paint it over and start again. But what surprised me the most was that it felt like a really calming experience. There's something about painting in a physical space and creating a physical painting that is very satisfying, especially since I've been doing so much digital stuff and digital art lately and haven't had the chance to go back to my roots of traditional art too much. The few things that were a bit hard for me were keeping things clean because the brushes I decided on using weren't the perfect choice and the edges would smudge from time to time. Being the 26 year old lady that I am, I also had to take little breaks since I was on my knees for a lot of the time. Other than that, my music playlist was the bomb. <laughs> The weather was nice and everything came together beautifully. It only took me three days total to complete and I know what you're thinking. Did you use the same clothes for all three days? And the answer is, oh yeah. <laughs> because I don't trust myself with painting using new and pretty clothes. So I use the same shorts and same shirt that I wouldn't mind getting paint all over every day that I worked on this mural. The mural left as it arrived in Eric's car and off it went into its purpose of making Diego's tacos even prettier than it already is. And now it is there for everyone to see and I couldn't be prouder of me, being honest. <laughs> it took a leap of faith from my friend to let me do this and an even bigger leap of faith for me to believe I could do it. Now I know it's not the most impressive mural you'll ever see, but it's a mural that I painted with my own hands that exists in the real world and that's good enough for me. If you ever find yourself in a small little island in Mexico called Cozumel and want to eat really great tacos, 
vegan or not, come here. Eric will be waiting for you and so will my mural.